were you looking for? Would it be too presumptuous of me to say that you were looking for help? That you hoped you would hear somebody who had something to say that would be of help and relevance to you as members of a world which is running into the most intense difficulty. A world beset by a complex of problems, any one of which would be bad enough. But when you add together all the great political, social and ecological problems with which we are faced, they are appalling. We are all out of bangs, five. Oh, it feels so good, like it feels like having the summer back. I'm so happy. This is so, so sunny. Okay, I don't know if that works. Oh my gosh, no, it doesn't work. Are you gonna vlog <laughs> Yeah, I, I will try. Um, okay. Maybe I'm just gonna put my power bank on it to make it more stable. I actually want to buy, maybe Target has like these things that you can put on the phone and then you can just like click it, like it has like knobs and then you can just click it to like things and it's gonna be oh, okay. interesting. <laughs> Wait, how does it connect to the back of your phone? I know, it's just like you just press it on your phone and then it's also, you can put it on like, like glass, you know, like this. What is, the, is it a magnet? Oh, this is just a power bag. Oh, okay. But I'm talking about a thing that I want to get. I like know what these, you're talking about. Yeah, um, what is it called? Pop socket? Pop socket, yes. They also have those ones with like the little suction cups like all over the back in like a rectangle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and people just like stick it to me. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I wanted to get. It's a yoga studio nearby, so sometimes um, I got the words all go. But if you're now you're going somewhere and you know Yeah, we can walk this way and there's like a bundle. You need like a facelift. <laughs> a facelift. <laughs> Sunny. <laughs> about expanding your perception. Oh, that's nice. You about what? Has been the FDA, like Food and Drug Administration, and she was like, the food's like better. They don't have too much. So that's Lauren's house, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I didn't even press the video. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we got coffee and it was blended in with the banana, which actually Laura put me onto it. Yeah, but I tried it. Yeah, she's <laughs> first time adventurous. And, and <laughs> so adventurous with the banana and the coffee. Yeah, I had never thought about that. I oh, I didn't even see it like listed that you could do. Yeah, I don't know. I just saw it in like the extras and was like, I'm just gonna try that because yes. I think I remember I was like, I was like a little bit. Hungry or coffee. something, and I was like, I'm just gonna add a banana to my coffee that's gonna fix the problem. Yeah. It's, on, it's honestly the best idea ever. It makes it like a smoothie, but it doesn't leave when you know, you know, when you drink like um, frozen drinks and it just leaves like a bunch of ice at the bottom. Yeah, like this doesn't happen, but honestly, bottom. Southern Grounds just knows how to do it so well. I don't know because I never experienced such a good combination of coffee and banana. Oh my gosh, it's not. And I feel like all those flavors are good. Yeah. Ooh, okay, we're gonna go. Yay! <laughs> yeah, this is actually worked out perfectly because normally on a Tuesday I would be at work, but I get one week off a week, so. I was so. I was like, <laughs> what is the coincidence that I, you know, time my flight? Like, because I didn't ask you prior. Yeah, and so I, I never like, have Tuesdays off, so this is actually the yeah. universe being like, Thank this day is yours to yeah. have fun with. So. I was, yeah, and I, I'm still surprised that um, 
like I was at the border control and passport control and it went all so fast because I didn't really have a lot of time in Atlanta and last time I missed my flight and had to spend the night at Atlanta's airport which was very yeah, great. Like, <laughs> so I was like kind of already preparing myself to do that again because it was like Aww. chances are not high that I'm gonna make it what but did I did. Tell you? Like that the layover was short when you were booking. Yeah, well you see how long the layover is yeah. gonna be and then you can kind of like I know how long normally it yeah. takes, you know. So yeah, normally if like the flight's on time you'll make it to the next flight, right? But like, yeah, but sometimes happen. if the like the passport control was so crowded and like last time it was so crowded, like people didn't know where to stand anymore. I don't know, it was like such a bad timing for whatever reason. But this time it was pretty chill, there were not so many people and they just didn't ask a lot of questions. They were like, what are you doing here? And I'm like, with yeah. your friends, what did you do last time with your friends? Ah. <laughs> so, like, I mean, it was just very easy. Um, do they, I have a question, do they look at your bags? Like, ever, um, is that a thing? Cause I, oh, sometimes, I last time, me. I had an orange in my bag and that's oh. why, like, they took it out because you're not, like, allowed to bring, like, right. uh, Roots from like outside, yeah. you know. Florida had a problem in the past where the orange fields like all died, but I don't know if it was because of like because of me. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I don't know what it was that caused it. It might have been like um invasive. Species. Yeah. But I get it, like, I mean, yeah, but so, I had an apple in my bag, so I ate it on the flight, because I was like, I'm not going to deal with it again. Right. <laughs> and I didn't want to eat the apple, I mean, I love apples, <laughs> but I was not the time for apple, but anyway. Yeah. Um, but, oh my gosh, everyone on the flight looked so southern, like, all the women were, like, blonde, and just, like, you know, this cowboy kind of vibe, or, like, the people at, um, what is it called? A uh, firehouse right now? You just know they are like from here. Everyone looked like that on my flight. It was like, like uh, wow. And they country. Yeah, and they all flew from like Amsterdam to Atlanta to Jacksonville, like almost all of them. And like a lot of people look like rockstars, you know, long beard and then long hair and then like this tank top which is like cut to right. here. You I know? don't think they're even trying, they just their style. Yeah, no, it's just like that. But it, I, I just, I just was like, oh, I know where you're going, yeah. <laughs> you know, um, so that was kind of funny, but yeah, so anyways, the uh, Seven Ground Smoothies, or coffees with banana, mm -hmm. highly recommend that. Um, and now we're going thrifting at this um, thrift store, but I wasn't able to take Laura to Los Angeles here, yeah. so works. This time we're going to make it. This is actually where I find my best finds. Really? So you've been buying there a lot? Well, okay, for clothes it's good, but I also find other things, like wallets, oh, um, nice. books, I found like a biography, or a mini biography, a memoir um, yeah. on Dolly Parton, which I thought was really oh, interesting. I just like, I put on a playlist on the uh, plane, like country one, or like a chill country one, uh -huh. and Dolly Parton played like Joey. No, but like, c come home, or hard again, or something, I don't know, I don't remember the name, but it was very soft, and I've been um, showing, um, friend uh the do you know this the cheerleaders in dallas like the um, yes they were like so famous yeah oh my gosh love them yeah. and um one time the dolly parton was like there too and was like singing live and i've of course, seen the photos of her in the yeah. like cowgirl outfit i thought that was like a halloween costume of hers i didn't realize that she performed <laughs> yeah and i think it was so cute and obviously they were all like all about her because she's so you know for people from there like Texas and yeah. like because I don't know where she is from. Well, is she she's from, from, from Texas? I don't know. I think it's the Midwest, but I don't know where exactly. No, oh, okay. Well, anyway, yeah, I thought that was cute, and I love the Dallas cowgirls. Cow, yeah. Yeah, but isn't it crazy Chewing? how like um, fast the team rotates? Like some of them are yes. only there a year and then they're cut, or like they're there. It's a few so years. tough to get on there. I yeah. was like watching it. It was like oh. So this God. team isn't even the team from a few years ago. Like it's always changing. So the yeah. girls on this TV show probably didn't even know what they were signing up for. Like because they probably always wanted to be a cheerleader. They didn't realize they'd become like Netflix stars too. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, I would do that. <laughs> I would be happy to do that. No, but I, I kind of like, I like the documentary a lot and I have like a lot of respect for them because the training seems to be so hard and they are like so yeah. perfect. It's like drill. Well, yeah, they're like, they have to have the right personality or like oh, the yeah, right everything, the, the right look, the right personality. Yeah. And I, I remember one time someone said like, you always have to have perfect nails because if you sign like, oh. um, 
<laughs> mine now. Um, if you sign like you know giving like an autogram or something for like fans you have to have good nails because otherwise it doesn't represent what they stand for that's and i was like oh, okay i also think that's like a southern thing though like southern beauty standards i think especially they really like, like pa pageant you know very strict very strict and they're like yeah like you don't just roll out of bed looking like how they want you to look you know like it yeah. takes a lot of work like i feel like that's that's also like on the plane like a lot of women like they were like probably in the 40s 50s but they just had this like they all were like beautiful but like the southern beauty standards like blonde perfect nails a little bit of makeup not too much like some jewelry like i was just like oh okay mm -hmm. so like i mean it was cool but i was like it's crazy that you can just identify that they are from like the south and that they have these beauty standards yeah you know i think it's also the yeah the bleach blonde or like the yeah. yellowish blonde hair and then also like the i think they tend to have bigger hair i don't know though maybe things have evolved but yeah, yeah it used to be that everyone had like big hair um and now i think it's more like the gentle like mermaid waves you know i yeah. think that, honestly i kind of have a theory that the victoria's secret fashion show made that hairstyle popular like that oh, blowout. Yeah. i don't yeah. know maybe it existed before that fashion show but like they no i mean it definitely made it popular because it has such a big impact on it yeah but it's like less industry. hairspray more like bouncy hair now yeah yeah, yeah. which yeah. i like i personally like the better because i don't like the feeling of like yeah it's also a little bit like you know the um, swedish influences always have like the perfect blowout hair yes and it's somehow curls. yeah it looks soft but it still holds its shape yeah yeah I don't know how they do that, but yeah. They have I so mean, much hair. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, I think it's like easier if you have the right type of hair, but they also do it with like the rollers overnight or like heatless curls and stuff. Yeah. But I actually feel like if you would do that, it would probably stick long because you have natural curls, so yeah. your hair would probably adjust. I just don't have the patience. No. For, but maybe I'll do it one day. But yeah. you actually like check all the southern beauty standards ah! <laughs> like i mean your nails are like nice naturally uh, you know yeah there's a few that are broken but i do file them you i'm not a hand model <laughs> no but you could be ah, no i can't <laughs> absolutely no. not i'm not qualified my hands are no but your model. nails are really nice Thank you. I'd oh, rather be a hair good. model than a nail model. I feel like hair modeling would be so fun. Just like you just show up and they do your hair and you're ready to go. Oh yeah, I, I actually enjoy that a lot. Like if someone does the makeup or the hair, it's just like a yeah. therapy look. Like so, <gasps> oh, it's just nice. Treatment. Yeah, you like treatment. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyways, we're gonna go in the thrift store now. Yeah. It's so much sure. I mean, I think I know, but you have never been to like Texas or Alabama, right? Or did yeah, you? Yeah. Haven't been. Like I where? Mean, no, I'm. I haven't. But you want to? Right? I I want to. Um, where are we going? I don't even know the way. Oh, that's a shop. sell it in germany now too i think okay. mac and cheese boxes but oh do they not use to no like I, I don't think so like i mean something's going on in the road oh they must be picking their shoes up oh maybe so yeah it's just a lot of people oh. oh my god what is that car it's huge oh, wait, wait i need to was like uh telling me all the things about my signs what is that <laughs> It's a real monster truck. It looks like from the what do you call the things where they do that? Like the events? 
uh, monster truck events. <laughs> For real. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ever. Yeah. And I haven't had Snapchat in like four or five years because I didn't see a reason of like using the app. But I think I'm also not like I'm not gonna use it for like texting so much with like friends, I but just I for like the public profile for like. Oh, okay. I just use it like just with Grant to occasionally send him things I see. Yeah, I think that's cool. And then I was like, well, we text like in group chats, like sure, but it's um I feel like we're more in the moment with like Snapchat because we're yeah. just like we're like oh my god like I can't believe this just happened to me. I think it's good for that reason, and I know like uh, Snapchat is m way more popular here, so um, yeah. But so that's also part why I was like, okay, I think I'm gonna start using it again. Yeah, it's strange in the sense that like, like there's no real method to like following people. Like I feel like yeah, all the really random people like following me, and I don't know who they are, and then occasionally I'll get someone that knows me. But, but I don't use Snapchat like in a casual way, so when they do add me, I'm like, oh, okay, like this is new. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I I was so confused because I thought if they adding me, I have to like accept it for the public profile, but it's not the same. Like I think you can follow people on the public profile all the time. The like what are those called now? Like the Snapchat. Um, I don't know. I have like a public profile. Mm -hmm. So you should follow me. <laughs> Wait, do I not follow you? I don't know. Uh, because I, I don't know. Do I have a public profile? I don't know. Split? Isn't there something like... Uh, I think you would see it here if you had a public profile. No, here. But don't people... Um, it's a pub Oh, you have 190 public on your public profile. So weird. Am I supposed to have I don't know. That's like my question. Like. If someone adds you, is are they automatically a follower on the public profile or not? Um, like that's that's what I don't right. know. Right. Like is your the one you use to snap people, is that separate from your public profile? Yeah. Or do you want to know? And also I've heard people actually do make money from it now. Yes, that's why and like someone told me um, to grow on Snapchat is very easy because the algorithm works very well. So that's why I was like, okay, I should do that. Maybe it can get monetized there because if I do YouTube anyways and like stories, like there's no like you know you can also do it on Snapchat then. Yeah, people are like David Dobrik. Oh, I love your emoji or oh, bit emoji. Yeah, yeah it looks so good. Ah, looks so sweet. I used to put like um, yeah, I used to put like make like me's which were like little avatars so I feel like I've all practiced yeah. making them because I would always change my me to look more like me. Hmm. Um, did you ever have a Wii as a kid? Mm, my brother had one yeah and like, but I never play. really played. Wii sports was so fun like you could play bowling, you could play tennis. The tennis was my favorite. It felt like the most real. Um, we made it. <laughs> we made it. So I don't know, like that's my profile, but I don't know oh, how so you would. Adidas. Yeah, I, <laughs> I don't know. I made it like a while ago, but they uh, do updates to the bitmojis. So yeah, you can, um, should yeah. redo it probably. Um, but I don't know how how you would see my public profile because that's in my story, but also in my public story. So I don't know. I bet someone's made a YouTube video. Probably. Do you want to go inside? Yeah, for sure. I think it's so hot with the sun. It is. I don't know. I think it's really like... Okay, so we went to Goodwill and Lauren got a basketball jersey. Is it a basketball jersey? I don't know. I have a football. Football. American football. And then you got a um, plastic free shirt. <laughs> it's an, um, I think it was an Adidas shirt made out of recycled ocean plastic Recycl but it was actually just really cute and that's why yeah. I bought it but I'm glad it's for a good cause yeah the color is really cute and then what else did you get what oh okay I also got what's the last thing oh it was a little swim top that yeah the swim top I oh. was like into as well or what she thought she, uh, I should I mean I was into for you yes, because for I know it's gotten look so yes. good it had like a black and white stripes but then like a pink like stripe at the bottom which yeah. I always love like a little pop of pink and like something so 
Yeah, that that was cute. And then we got what is it called? Twist twisters? Oh, yeah. Candy. Uh, yeah, they sell candy at Goodwill now. That's they like didn't later. do that, right? Yeah. Before they didn't used to do that, so that's very interesting because they used to just be like secondhand things, but this is clearly like I mean unless someone donated a bunch of candy. Well. <laughs> I, I don't know, maybe it's also because the they are about to expire sooner or something that they get a yeah. four line less. I cannot tell, like I didn't look up the candy, but yeah, maybe it's cheaper there. It was like two dollars, so yeah. it's pretty cheap. So yeah, possibly. So now we're driving to get... Yes, yes. We could watch the sunset. Oh yes, let's watch the sunset. I'm actually also getting tired, so I think it's good like to eat something fruity. Because, I mean, I don't even know what time it would be in Germany. Uh, not that late, like, wait, let's, uh, 10. It's like 10 p.m. Mm. 10, half past 10 almost. If you, would you want something like else as well? I mean, they do have some, like, toast and stuff. Mm, not right now. I don't feel so toasty right now. <laughs> <laughs> Outside, but yeah. Not oh my gosh, the weather is so amazing. I'm still like so happy. Yeah. Like it's so crazy that the sun has such a big influence on your mood and like vitamin D, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just absorb all the sunlight. And you're you like, like happy. Yeah. I'm running on solar power. <laughs> I'm running on. Oh my gosh, I love that. I run on solar power. That's a good lyric. I'm gonna memorize that for a song. For okay. sure. You should. Good. No, that's a, you could like definitely sing a song. Like a, about Florida, you yeah, know, or your travels. Um, Lord has an album called Solar Power. Me, Lord. Oh, Lord, I thought you, <laughs> I thought you were making a joke. You were like, Lauren has an album called Solar Power. I didn't realize it was real. No, it is real. Is, she, is it like a happier, like, album? I would say so. Yeah, I don't know. We can play some, some maybe. Some of your songs are um, sad and a lot of yeah. Them. Which I love, um, yeah. but Solo Power is nice too. It has some good ones, but it's definitely we should listen to that. different. Wanna do a Yui? Yui, everyone here drives trucks. Yeah, we will come to learn, especially in North Florida or Jacksonville, maybe specifically. Everyone here is to drive truck. Is it that? Juice and bowl, press juice, acai poke. And then once we get our stuff, we can take it to the clean. Terms in German that you use all. I think it's kind of cute. He's still dancing. I love that. Oh, oh if you're... <laughs> Very exciting things happening at Jackson Low Beach. He caught a fish. Is it a... What is it is called? It yes, it is. It is. No, you can. Oh wow, that's why he's also taking a video. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's, it's oh my god. Mantra, stingray. I don't know, did I taste good? <laughs> I never thought <laughs> about it. I don't know, do you want to catch it? Like, as a, as a, you know, as a fisher. <laughs> oh yeah, I think so. Yeah, he's helping him. Yeah, well, he's... Oh, that's it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think he likes you, Laura. He's such a little sport. <laughs> yes. You... Oh, okay. <laughs> I had a guy, so there's no girls. But those are definitely his favorite. <laughs> oh my gosh. But you need to go? He's loving it. He's loving it. He's loving it. 
Dinner. 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 Go get your dinner. Go get your dinner. Yeah, well, that's that's not where your dinner is at. <laughs> but he just kept on asking and I was like, oh my gosh, can someone rescue me? And I didn't like see Gustav, so I was like, okay, whatever. Here's the E and oh my gosh, you'll be able to read this and like You got to I meditate in such a way that you identify with your higher self. How do you do that? Well, you start by watching all your thoughts. Very careful. Watching your feelings, watching your emotions. So that you begin to build up a sense of separation between the watcher and what is watched. So that you are, as it were, no longer carried away by your own stream of consciousness. You remain the witness, impassive, impartial, suspending judgment watching it all go on.